Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Team Create feature in Roblox Studio. Collaborating on Roblox games is easier than ever in 2025, thanks to the powerful Team Create feature. Whether you're working with a friend or managing a team of scripters and builders, Team Create allows multiple users to work on the same game in real time, and in this tutorial, we'll walk you through how to enable Team Create, add collaborators, and manage permissions. Now let's start by following these few simple steps. The first step is to to open your game in Roblox Studio, so launch Roblox Studio app and then open the game you want to collaborate on. I'm just gonna choose a basic template, for example this template of platformer, I'm gonna click for it, on it and I'm gonna wait for it to be loaded. After that, the second step is to enable Team Create. Now you're gonna go to the view tab on the top right here or you can click on collaborate as you can see this option, click on it. Now, after that, you're going to click on Team Create, and if it's your first time enabling it, click on Turn On in the panel, this appears. You're going to click on Save to Roblox. Now, the third step is to publish the game to Roblox. Now, if the game isn't published, go to the file, Publish to Roblox, as, and follow the prompts. Just click on File, and you're going to click on Publish to Roblox. Now, the fourth step is to add collaborators. Once Team Create is active, click on the Game Settings button and go to the Permission tab and enter your collaborator's Roblox usernames and set their roles. For example, you can set their role as Editor, Viewer, etc. Now the fifth thing is Collaborate in real time. Now invitees can join via Roblox Studio and begin editing live and you'll see who is editing and what they are working on. For additional tips, always communicate using an external tool like Discord or a shared document and use the version history to revert accidental changes. Team create development into a team with proper permission to commission online your work and bring your Roblox projects with the help of others. And this was it for today's tutorial. If you like this video and find it helpful, please like and subscribe and feel free to leave a comment below the video if you have further more questions about this topic. Thanks for watching and see you again in the next tutorial.